What's up guys? It's Tyler and Brittany with you with Wallace Farm and Sawmill. This morning we're going to go over two things with you. Main topic of this video is going to be, let me turn the camera around here. We're going to scale that load of logs over there and we're going to discuss how we go about scaling those logs. Topic number two, um, the old Cook's Edger is in bad need of a new set of blades. We've had these retipped several times and different things but I, it's time for a new set and uh finally we've done it we bought a new set so i put this new set on there then i'm gonna take you guys over here we're gonna scale these logs get an idea of how we do it how we figure the footage um, you know i may even break into giving you an idea of what you know some people uh, some places pay and what we pay here for our logs so anyway let's continue forward with getting this onto that all right guys, the GoPro decided to have a SD card error, so I'm not sure if the footage got beforehand, but if it didn't, I'm gonna say it one more time for those that uh, may have missed it, <laughs> everybody but us. This uh, <clears throat> Cook's Edgers had these same blades on it since I got it, and we've had them retipped a time or two. I've never bought a new set. Finally bought a new set, here they are. So check this out. See if you can see the difference in the teeth. It's, it's pretty massive. But now I'm gonna tell you guys something I'm noticing that I am going to call Cooks about. Do you guys see it? Look right there at those two teeth. That corner right there on this tooth is sheared. See, that's carbide. And that carbide, if you barely touch it with just banging around on metal, you can uh, chip it off. Well, they sold me one with a chip too. Barely getting the camera to focus here, but you can see that sheared tooth. That's brand new out of the pack and uh when i paid over 300 dollars a set i'm not accepting one sheared tooth nor do i think you should so i'll definitely call them on that right now all right guys i'm bolting this back on like i said if you look at the tooth size compared to a worn out set to a new set it's totally different so let's get these uh i want to we'll give them a test run here in just a second Alright guys, we're getting ready. I'm sitting on the tractor here and Brittany's getting over there getting ready to uh, start measuring them up. Okay, so we're going to talk about how we scale logs. What we do is we use dual scale. There's also international scale. I'm sure there's another scale. Dual and international is the two that I'm familiar with. So check it out. We use dual scale. I don't want to argue which one's better for the salt, for the for one for the logger and one for the sawmill. I don't know. I use dual scale. Works for me. And that's what we're using today. So how dual scale works is you take the length of a log and the inside of bark measurement on the small end. And that will give you an estimated amount of board footage that you can obtain from that log. So what we do is I got some marking paint. Um, depends on how the marking paints want to work that day. Sometimes I will just go and mark the number on the ends that we measure them and I'll come back and tally it up on a piece of paper. It doesn't take five minutes. Or maybe I'll just put a dot on each one that I've counted and put it into my phone. So mm, we'll try today. I'll probably just mark the numbers on the end. So if it's a 12 inch log, I'll write 12, one, two on the end. So let's get to going on this. All right, so I'm gonna do these on, to, on the trailer because, uh, well, it's just for the video. I would lay them out. If you look at this log right here, this guy, small end right here. Britt, bring the tape down here. measure across so what you're looking for actually is a inside of bark measurement to inside of bark when i'm scaling a log i'll turn that around and look at it but you know it don't get much bigger than 10 inches that's a 10 inch all day so you can take this and go 10 quick and easy so now we got we know we got a 10 
Now, what you got to be careful of when you got logs racked up and not laid out is you got to look at which which ends your small end because you need to measure from the small end. Take this log right here on bottom, for example. Small end is on that end. So I'm going to walk down here and do that. So inside of bark to inside of bark. Looking at 11 and a half, try to cross the other face. Yeah, 11 and a half. What does it call it? 11. There you go. Now you got an 11. So now we're going to do that for each one of these logs. And then I'm going to bring you back after we've marked all these. You see what we're doing. And we'll bring you back and we will uh, tally them up on a piece of paper. And just give you an idea of what, you know, what we're doing and how we buy. All right, guys. As you can see, I've marked them all. Come around the back of the trailer. Uh, the majority of our small ends were on this one, on this end. If you see those dots there, that's because the small ends were on that end and I marked them so that I wouldn't double count them or make a mistake. So, Brits around front, paper ready. All right, I'm gonna call out these numbers to you. 10, 12, 11, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 12, 12, 14, 10, 15, 10, 14. Way too fast. <laughs> All right, I'm at the 14. The first 14? Okay, then 10, 15, 10, 14. Better? You should have 19 logs, I believe. Well, we got to go the one on the front, right? No, there's 19 logs. Sixteen. Did you count the three on the front? Oh, I thought you'd done that beforehand. She's slacking, y'all. It's eleven, eleven, nine. Nineteen logs. So we got them wrote down. So let's go over here in the shade, and we're going to figure up the footage, and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, guys, we're over in the shade, and I want to show you the breakdown here. Let's set these out, get her to focus in. Okay, so we have each log marked, 11, 9, 10. See the inches down through there. Then you got tally marks for how many logs. If you look here, when you run the scale, this is the footage per 11-inch log. So you got a 31, 4 times, 124. One at 23, which uh, scale didn't really go down below 10 inch, the one I was using, so I just counted that 9 inch as a 23, same as a 10. And then, you know, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 40, 240. Then we go down through here, add up the total footage. So, I talked about in that last little suburban logging video, how many feet you think's on this truck? Well, dual scale 755, okay? This right here, and I'm just going to give you some numbers. You can take these and run with them and say how little they're paying or how more they're paying there or there. I don't care. I picked these up off of a tree service guy who watches my videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs> these are your trees. You'll notice them. Um, so the way I do this is, and this is a good explanation for the process for everybody out there, because all you do is change this number. I'm paying 150 per thousand because I'm going and picking these up. You have to take into the hauling and everything else into consideration. Um, you know, like you might even say, just just give an example. Not saying this is what it is, but an example. If you were paying 150 a thousand to pick up and bring the logs to your mill, well, say if this same guy was actually hauling these to your mill, you might pay him 200 or 220 a thousand because, well, I mean, it just you know figure in your cost whatever your cost wants to be that's up to you but i'm just giving you an example of how you can purchase logs um you know for other mill owners out there and for people who might be interested in how does purchasing logs work now the, uh, there's another option okay and this is the option i mainly use this option you're seeing here scaling this is something i don't even do that often i do this when i don't want to have to stop at a scale house or anything but typically, the typical thing is most of my logs come in from loggers, okay? And most loggers will stop by a scale house on the way. And just to give you guys an idea, and of course, you'll have to look at the time date stamp on this video, but as of today, delivered to this sawmill, 
logs are bringing uh, anywhere, and it depends on the grade of the log. I mean, of course, I'm not going to buy just straight pallet logs for, um, you know, a high price versus a grade log. But anywhere from 30 to $50 a ton. And that's entirely dependent on what you bring, you know. But that's that's what we're paying right now, 30 to 50 a ton. I'd give you guys an example out there. And if we're scaling them, probably anywhere from 150 a thousand to 300 a thousand, anywhere in that neighborhood, depending on the quality and quantity and all that other stuff to take into consideration. So, just want to give you guys an example, show you a little thing we got going on. Uh, there will be another video, guys, at the end of this week. You'll see some pallet wood, and we'll be talking about the LT15 wide and how it has helped us out so far. So, let's get this video concluded. If you guys like this type of content, and uh, you notice my beard's getting a little shaggy, and I'm getting a little shaggy, my barber I was going to go to this weekend decided he was going to go on a two-week vacation at the wrong time. So, I got to get all this taken care of and cleaned up. I told him I could do it, but he no, won't let me. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not doing the we're not doing the length off, guys. Somebody somebody made a comment that I needed to shave my beard or something. I needed to clean up. Not happening. Anyway, I just got to get the edges trimmed up and re-straightened. If you guys like this content, you want to see more of this content in the future, just like, comment, comment and oh. subscribe. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.